Hi, I'm Marcus Mepstead, Olympic Four Fencer. Welcome to Team GB's Workout Wednesdays. Today I'm going to run through six different exercises you can do at home. They're going to take 30 seconds on each side. They form part of my normal training routine, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first exercise is going to be a fencing footwork drill. To get in the position, you're going to sit in a quarter squat, soft bend at the knee, pushing the knees out. We're going to rotate the right foot out 90 degrees. This is our basic fencing stance, and we're going to do the movement for 30 seconds. The movement is going to be an advance and a retreat on the same spot. So you're moving your front foot forwards, your back foot back, then bringing your front foot back and your back foot forwards. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Your hands, you can keep them like this, or you can hold on to a weight. Once you've done 30 seconds, you're going to come back into the middle, have your feet facing forwards, and then 30 seconds facing the left side. Sit in that quarter squat, turn your foot out 90 degrees, and we're going to work 30 second drill. Keeping your hands up, keeping your core engaged, pushing the knees out the whole way. You should start to feel this working through your quads and your glutes. Once you've done 30 seconds, you move on to the next exercise. The next exercise, alternating side lunges. You're going to lunge out to the right side, come back into the middle, and then lunge out to the left side. Doing this for a total of 30 seconds. If you feel like this movement is a little bit too easy, then you can add in a single leg step up when you get into the middle. Squeezing your quad, engaging your core as you drive up onto that standing leg. We're going to do this for 30 seconds in total. The third exercise is going to be a squat twist and we're going to twist into a fencing stance. You're going to alternate with the right foot and the left foot forward. Just to remind you, the fencing stance with the right foot forward looks like this. You're going to have uh, your feet at 90 degree angle, soft bend at the knee, pushing the knees out and sitting in that quarter squat. The left side, same again, 90 degrees with your left foot facing forwards, pushing the knees out, soft bend in that position. If you want to hold onto a dumbbell or a weight, you can hold into this position. Otherwise, you can just keep your hands like this for the time being. It's going to be 30 seconds alternating between the right and left. Should look something like this. If you're not holding on to a weight and you want to make it a little bit more challenging, just squat deeper, sit deeper in each position. Once you've done 30 seconds, switch over to the next exercise. Exercise number four is going to be a glute bridge hold. You're going to be on the ground for this one. You want your feet and your back flat on the ground. From this position, you're going to drive up and you're going to hold it for 30 seconds. To add the different layers of difficulty, you can either have your hands on top or you can switch to single leg. If you're going to do single leg exercise, have one leg up for 30 seconds before you put that one down and drive up the second one, hold that for 30 seconds. The whole way through, you're keeping your hips nice and high, you're engaging your core and you're relaxing your neck. The next exercise is going to be a front plank. The basic level is going to be hands flat on the ground, your shoulder blades pulled back, lift your belly button up, and you're going to just engage your core, hold this position for 30 seconds. If this is too easy, then we can alternate to supermans. Lifting one foot up and your leg up, bringing it back down, and the same again on the other side. You're just going to alternate, lifting up your left arm, right leg, and then the left leg, right arm. Working through this for 30 seconds. So the final exercise is going to be a side plank. You're going to do the hold for 30 seconds on the right side, and then you're going to do 30 seconds on the left side. When you're on the ground, you want to have a straight line from your shoulders, your hips, to your heels. You have your forearm, forearm on the ground, then you're going to drive up, hold this position, make sure your head is in a nice neutral position, and you're going to hold this for 30 seconds. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, what we're going to do is we're going to try and reach behind us with the arm that's up in the air. So in this instance, my left hand, I'm going to reach that behind me and then come back up. As we're reaching down, we want to breathe out and then breathe in on the way back up. Do this for 30 seconds. Once you've done 30 seconds, we're going to switch, go back over to the left side. Same again, straight line from the shoulders to the hips down to the feet. You're going to be resting on your forearm, 
Drive your hips up, hold this position for 30 seconds. Once you've done this position, if it's too easy for you, then what you can do again, you're gonna reach back behind you and then come back up. Breathing out as you go down and breathing in as you come back up. This exercise for 30 seconds and then you're done. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed my workout. In summary, you're doing six exercises, 30 seconds each side. And if you want an extra challenge, then take a minute break and redo the whole thing again. For more workout inspiration, make sure you subscribe to Team GB's YouTube channel and let us know how you got on in the comments below.